If you are looking to make a huge impact in your home decor without spending a ton of money, then you are going to love today's video. I'm Jamie, the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome back to my channel. I'd like to thank Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video first project I'm going to go ahead and take this shower curtain that I picked up from Dollar Tree and this canvas artwork that I grabbed at Goodwill. Now that uh, canvas artwork, I really do like it. I don't want to destroy it. And this is kind of the perfect way to upcycle any kind of art. Maybe you just want something fresh and something updated, but you don't want to get rid of the artwork that you currently have because you really do love it. This is a great way to just kind of camouflage that artwork and to switch it up a little bit. Now, I am taking that shower curtain. I'm literally just going to staple it into place. Kind of treat it almost like you're wrapping a present, right? You're going to pinch off some of those corners. You're going to fold over some edges. Go ahead and grab your staple gun and trim away any of the excess. And when you're done, you've got a really, really cute piece of artwork that costs you a dollar twenty-five. This is such a great and easy way to really maximize your space and your budget. And speaking of budgets, you guys know that I have started my next chapter. I recently left my full-time job. I'm kind of pursuing a new passion of mine. And right now, it is more important to me than ever to take control of things like spending. I want to set a budget. I want to achieve some of those financial goals. And this is why I love our sponsor today, Rocket Money. With Rocket Money, you're able to achieve your financial goals by canceling unwanted subscriptions, lowering your bills, you can set a monthly budget, you can monitor your credit, and so much more, and you can do it all in one place. Now, with Rocket Money, it's an all-in-one financial platform that helps you save money and spend less. The personal finance manager allows you to manage your subscriptions, to lower your bills, to monitor your credit score, you can build all of your savings, and you can do it all in one place. It's insane. Now, the first thing I love about Rocket Money is that it has helped me cancel unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money safely and securely identifies reoccurring charges with the tap of a button. It will cancel all of those subscriptions that I don't want. It also helped literally remind me of some things that I didn't even remember that I had that I wasn't using anymore. I didn't have to hunt around on each one of those apps. I didn't have to go to individual websites to try and find the cancel buttons or the cancel my subscription button or anything like that because with Rocket Money, it did all of the hard work for me. Now, since I have been making these life changes, lowering my bills is something that I can also benefit from by having Rocket Rocket Money. Rocket Money can actually help you lower your bills. All you have to do is upload a photo of your bill, tap a button, and Rocket Money will negotiate that bill on your behalf. You can lower things like your cable bill, your phone bill, your internet provider bill. It's really, really crazy how much this app can do for you. Now, one of my favorite features of Rocket Money is setting budgets. I am able to set up a budget that works within my lifestyle. And if I really want to pull back on certain categories, I can actually set all of those standards up myself. Rocket Money will send me a friendly notification when any of those said boundaries maybe are being pushed just a little bit. You know, there's a really good sale and you gotta take advantage of it. And uh, I'm gonna also get a snapshot. I'm gonna get a snapshot of my spend to earn ratio. So I'm gonna know what I'm spending monthly, what I'm spending quarterly, and what I'm spending annually. I'm going to always know what is going on with my finances and it's because of Rocket Money. To try out Rocket Money for free and to unlock even more features with premium, head to rocketmoney.com backslash the crafty DIY guy or click the link in the video description box below. There's also a QR code here on the screen that you can scan to start your own journey. Now, this is another budget-friendly artwork that you can definitely do for little to no money. I think this was maybe, what, three, six dollars in total. I'm taking some Dollar Tree frames and that sticker set that I picked up at Dollar Tree, and we are going to make some very, very cool-looking artwork. Now, go ahead and take your frames all apart. Get rid of all the plastic and things that you don't need. Now, the um, white kind of insert that was in that frame was a little thin. 
I was afraid that it might be a little see-through, so I'm taking just a piece of scrapbook paper here, and uh, I'm just going to trace around the frame insert here because I want to make sure that, um, you know, my artwork kind of takes center stage here. And uh, we're going to take our sticker here, and I'm just going to place this down on top of my piece of scrapbook paper that I did cut out, and uh, you're just going to center it. Just center it the best you can, put it on there, stick it down, and then very, very easily just kind of trim away any of the excess here. You can see that there's a little hangover here. We're just going to take out our little X-Acto knife and our little cutting board, and uh, we're just going to, or cutting mat, and we're going to go ahead and just trim off that bottom edge there. And uh, you're going to repeat it. You're going to repeat it for the second frame or the third frame, however many frames that you have. And again, just very simple. So easy. These Dollar Tree stickers come in so many different styles and varieties. You don't have to stick these to the wall. You can literally stick them to a blank piece of scrapbook paper and create your very own custom artwork. It's such an easy trick. And these look like a set that you would pay a lot more money for at like Kirkland's or Home Goods or any of those. Once you've got your stickers in place, just go ahead and assemble them back. Check this out. It's such a great set of artwork and it costs little to no money at all. Now you guys may remember that my mom gave me these canvases, these unicorn shaped canvases in my junk box. And uh, I decided to use them for this particular project. Now these came from Five Below, but you can also kind of apply this very similar concept to any kind of canvas. You could use a unicorn like this, or you could just use a regular square canvas. And then these gem stickers that I have, they came from Target, but again, Gem stickers are super available at Dollar Tree. And all you're going to do is literally stick them down to your canvas. Now I put this on top of a piece of burlap just so you can kind of see things a little bit better. And uh, you are literally going to create your own rainbow with this. And I am taking all of those little gemstones and I am just going to stick them down. They have an adhesive back to them. So it's great because they are sticking right to the canvas. You could certainly add some glue onto the back of them if you wanted to. And uh, I'm just kind of creating my own rainbow. And after you've got your canvas completely covered in your rainbow, you You've got something super, super cute that you can do just about anything with. I love this so much. All right, you guys, for this next DIY, we're going to use this really large canvas that I picked up from Goodwill. Now, you may remember this was a Goodwill haul, and uh, I picked this canvas up for about $9. Now, this is a great canvas. There's nothing wrong with this painting. However, it is just not the style that I want for my particular guest room. However, the size is perfect. And when I saw the size of this canvas, I knew that I had to have it, and I knew that I was going to make it into something perfect for my guest room. So let's get started. You're going to go to Dollar Tree and in the Dollar Tree Plus section, you're going to find these pouring paints. And I have to say, these are pretty amazing. I was super happy with them. Now, I took that large canvas outside and I did give it a coating of white acrylic paint. And I just went over this with my uh, just big brush here. And uh, I'm only going to do one coat on this because you're going to be covering this with that pouring paint and you're not gonna really see. I probably didn't even have to paint this to be very, very honest, but I did wanna go ahead and at least have a nice um, kind of base for this. Now, you're gonna take your pouring paints and you're going to put each color into its own separate cup. Then you're going to take a um, cup, an empty cup, and you're going to kind of create your paint. So you're going to take each color that you have and you're just going to pour it into your solo cups in my case. And uh, you're going to literally just kind of create your own pouring paint with this. And as you can see, the colors are not mixing together. It's super, super cool. Now this part is totally optional. You can take a paintbrush, um, dip it in your paint, just kind of prep your canvas a little bit, put some zigzaggy lines, do whatever you want then you're going to pour 
this paint on top of your canvas. This is a pouring paint for a reason, and there is no rhyme or reason to this. You are your own Picasso here. I am literally just emptying out those cups right on top of the canvas. Then you're gonna pick up your canvas and you're going to let this paint just kind of slide and just kind of drip and just kind of dribble all around. You're gonna turn it every which way you can Literally, this is your own creation. And you're going to just kind of position that paint in a place that you think is best. Now, I've done all kinds of pouring paints in my home before, and I really, really love the way that they turn out because they are always super, super unique, and they are always super, super different, and you cannot mess this up. I'm telling you, once you get it laid out the way you like, put a brush into it again, play with the lines, play with the strokes. Look at this gorgeous, large piece of artwork that I have in my home now. I love this so, so much. It is all of my favorite colors. It is super bright and it was so, so easy to make. Speaking of easy, take a vase that I picked up from Five Below. This could go for any kind of knick-knacky thing that you pick up at Dollar Tree. Spray paint it your favorite color. Boom. Instant DIY. I spray painted this navy. I added this great orange flower. Such a nice compliment in my guest bedroom. Now this is one of those just kind of lucky DIYs an accidental DIY even. I found these sconces. They were at Goodwill. They were $4 for the pair. And then that was the color of the day. So I got them for half off. Now they didn't come with any kind of vase or anything like that. I loved the color. It's perfect for my home. Everything about them were perfect, except that there were no vessels to put anything in. These vases from Dollar Tree are the perfect size for this. And I was thinking after the fact, because of course I didn't have any, the Dollar Tree candles, they probably would be perfect for this as well. But for right now, this is what I'm doing and I love this so, so much. All right, you guys, that is today's video. Let me know in the comments below which projects were your favorite. I have to say that I think the extra large kind of art piece that I have in the hallway is definitely one of my favorites. Now, if you are a subscriber of mine, thank you so much for being here. If you're brand new to the channel, hopefully you will stick around and become a subscriber as well. Definitely like and comment and favorite and subscribe and all those other things that you're supposed to do here on YouTube. I've got some other playlists and some other videos that I'm going to be linking at the end of this video for you to check out as well. All right, guys, take care and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.